here, clouds. You're going to make a gigantic oh. mess. Off you go. pumpkins so the ones that were on the huge bit were just growing to a very small size and then rotting but we've got a good one here so I'm going to leave that so that's got all the energy now it isn't competing because that's looking quite good isn't it it's quite big I think it's probably a bit late for it to get any bigger but it's very exciting definitely going to try and plant them for real next year rather than, than accidentally. I think it's a squash. It's a little pumpkin shaped unless that's how pumpkins start off. Is Peggy Sue. Hi Peggy. She doesn't want to be up here. What are you eating? You got something in the week? She thought I had seeds so she followed me up and I grabbed her for a quick cuddle, didn't I? Yes, I did. Oh, she says she wants to get down. Too quick to... Or you can just get down. <laughs> Muddy footprints. Mm. We get cloud. Don't worry, hey. We will not approach Hey Hey. Hey Cloud. Cloud is molting. She's our friendliest chicken. Hey girl. Hey now. You've got a good view from up here. There we go. Mother of chickens. <laughs> <laughs> think I've said hello properly yet today. I've been very busy dealing with the chickens and sorting out some bits in the garden. Now I'm just on my way to go and pick up Lilia from Brownie Camp. It's uh, just coming up for two o'clock. Don't have to pick her up till half past two and it's only a five minute drive. Literally just around the back of us. 
uh, but it gets very, very busy. So I'm gonna go and get there, get myself um, ready to get her. She said she's very tired, she texted earlier. Very tired. <laughs> Looking forward to coming home, but she's had a really good time. Phoebe's at football and looking forward to a nice relaxed hopefully afternoon we're gonna have a mock donald's as we call it which is where i do dinner basically usually it's chicken nuggets but today it's gonna be burgers and i do it in a tub with chips and beans and we eat it in the living room in front of the telly. <laughs> the girls think that's really funny. So we're gonna do that tonight. So basically we're having burgers, well, meat-free burgers, and we're gonna catch up because, because we were all out last night in different places, uh, none of us have seen Strictly. So we're gonna catch up and watch Strictly. But right now I've got to go down a very, very bumpy and wibbly wobbly road. I'm here, one of very few so far, so that's good. Hopefully in a good place to get out as well. I'm right by the exit. Just texted Lilia to say, can I come around and get you? Yeah, uh, it's so peaceful here. It's so weird to think it's a special uh, place that they use just for brownie and guide camps. It's all, they do have camping areas, but it's mainly indoors. So it's like hostels and it's so peaceful, lovely. Vegetable time for the beasts. Are you excited? <laughs> Just a bit. Follow me, beasts. I had a question about my tea thingy strainer. It's not a tea strainer. Infuser. It looks like this. So that I can brew my, in this case, Lapsang Souchong tea. The brand is a Hassi and I bought it on Amazon. And if I can put a little link underneath, I shall. I got, actually got it in a pack of two, which is really handy because I make drinks for me and Dan. Or if I've got one in a dishwasher, I've always got one to make my tea. Okay, I have some things here. When Lilia did some baking the other day, she kind of pulled everything out of the cupboard where I keep all of the flour and that kind of thing. And when I was putting it back in, I had a bit of a tidy up and pulled out the things that are just lurking in the cupboard and need to be used. So first of all, I found a mystery sachet. <laughs> Don't know why we have this, of baking mix which has obviously come from some kind of kit because it's even got a buttercream mix as well. But I don't know what kit it came from. So I'm gonna try and look online and see if I can find out what this might be. Actually, let me open it and smell it. This smells like flour, to be honest. Mm, well, I'll have a look. Then I've got some icing. I think I got this for doing one of the kids' birthdays. And it seems to be, it's a bit hard here where it's open, but the rest of it's quite soft. And then I've got a gigantic one of white, which all feels quite soft. And the reason I've got such a massive one is I asked Dan to get it for me. <laughs> and he bought enough to ice a wedding cake. So there's still use in this 
but I don't really like this kind of icing and I very rarely use it. So what I might do is maybe look up a recipe for some nice little cupcakes where I could put like little discs of icing on the top, maybe a little heart in the red and or little mushroom ones, couldn't I? Oh, that'd be fun. And just use that up and give it to the girls and their friends for after school or something. So there may be some baking going on tomorrow. I've got a whole bag of chopped dates. So I could use these in uh, some brownies. I can use them in cookies. I can use them in the raw kind of energy balls. They work really well in, in that. In fact, I think that's probably why I have these. Or I could just eat them because I absolutely love dried dates. I love them. So I think, depending on what else I've got in here, I might make some energy balls. So dates, apricots, hmm, chocolate uh, chips. And so that would be cookie, wouldn't it? Cashews, that's good for energy balls. This is more dates in here, but it's like a block of dates. So again, energy balls. What's this? This is ground almonds, also good for energy balls. Okay, so I think I've got some ingredients for energy balls here, plus some ingredients to go into cookies. So energy balls now, baking and cookies and other things tomorrow. Okay, I've decided, seeing as I opened the packet, that I'm going to do the Dr. Oka mix, whatever it is. <laughs> but I can't find anything. I've had a really good Google. I can't find anything other than you need to add eggs, oil and milk. Hmm. So I've added two eggs. I weighed the mix. It was 190. I've added two eggs. And, and for the oil, I'm going to add um, 75 mills <laughs> what can possibly go wrong it's corn oil because that's a nice flavorless oil what was the other thing milk uh, what i might do is whisk this up and see how much milk it looks like it needs that seems like a good idea doesn't it we're not gonna need a hell of a lot of milk so i'm gonna put in the same as the oil i'm gonna put in 75 mils oh just over because it got away from me a bit. And now I'm worried that looks too much. You have to guess the oven temperature as well. <laughs> hmm. This looks a bit radioactive, doesn't it? <laughs> I'm not convinced. Oh, is it bubbling like some kind of weird swamp or <laughs> cauldron? Yikes. <laughs> okay, let's get this in the oven before it comes to life. Well, it looks like a cake and it smells like a cake. A bit lopsided. Get it onto a wire rack. I wonder if this was supposed to be fairy cakes. Oh, there we go. <laughs> How not to be? Oh dear, look at that. Oh dear, oh dear. What would what would Paul Hollywood say? Oh, this feels really kind of. Dense. Oh, there's a whole area not cooked on this side. Mm. I think this was supposed to be fairy cakes. But it's overcooked on this side and undercooked on that side and looks like pudding. Oh well, you win some, you lose some.
excuse the sound of the dishwasher this is the fun bit so you need to get set up for this bit I'll show you the texture close up so you can see it's still quite coarse and it may not look like it but this will come together in nice smooth balls but it is a messy task and it takes a little while so clear the area make sure you've got yourself a nice drink I've got some orange squash on the go I've got some Vlogtober to watch. I'm watching Sarah over at Yarn Mugs. And what you want to do is just take some and squish it like that. And then just make whatever size balls you want to. You could even make them into a square, couldn't you? <laughs> Energy squares. There we go. I would say life's probably too short for that though. And pop them on a plate, because we're going to put them in the fridge for a bit after we've done this. And have a rather lovely half hour with your vlog, or the TV, or your audio book, or chatting to someone you live with, and get them all rolled up. I'm just about to get dinner in the oven. Mm -hmm. And Danny's here. <laughs> in case you oh. hadn't noticed. It the is, birthdays and oh, anniversaries the birthdays. time. It's six o'clock. It's been a really busy day today, hasn't it's it? It's been a very busy day. Actually, I Lots didn't get... Lots of garden stuff. I, yeah, but I didn't get around to cutting the grass today, but then I can do that tomorrow, can't it was I? A bit, it did rain earlier. Lots of garden stuff, lots of chores, lots of stuff done, lots of running of children about places. Yes. Um, football. You've had football and a meeting. For the, your Manager's work. meeting. <laughs> he likes saying that. Well, he's it a, was. He's official now. He's officially the, one of the coaches. And I think that's brilliant, isn't it? I think it's just, mm. just what you wanted to do. Yeah. Anyway, it's... Dawn's birthday today. Happy birthday, Dawn. Hi, Dawn is so lovely. She's the one that made the comment on Instagram. Can't say it because children watch. So happy birthday, Dawn, in the Netherlands. And not a birthday, but... A, a, is it a wedding anniversary? <laughs> is it? I can't remember. Is it wedding anniversary or honeymoon? First wedding anniversary. First wedding anniversary. First wedding anniversary for Ellen and Joe. Who are in Disneyland, Florida, no less. Lucky yeah. them. Yeah, I've never been to Disneyland in Florida. No. I've been to Disney we went to World in California. And we went to Euro Disney. And we, yeah, we've been to Disneyland Paris a few times. Yeah. Well, I've been a few times. Have you right. been, yeah, anyways. Happy anniversary. <laughs> Happy anniversary. Yeah. Apparently, they're still watching. From, well done, you. Yes. Thank you. So, <laughs> and I, I'd love to go there at this time of year. It'd be brilliant all done up for Yeah, Halloween. America does Halloween better than we do in the UK. America, the, yeah, I would say, yeah, the USA, I don't know what it's like um, in other countries. But well, you definitely, tell us. What yeah, do you do for Halloween in other you, countries? You do this time of year very well. It's getting better here, but yes. yeah. Anyway, happy birthday if it's your birthday today. Happy anniversary if it's your anniversary today. Of anything. Of anything. Anyway, we are going to have our mock Donalds now. Oh, which basically means we're just eating dinner in front of the TV. Burger and chips tonight. Beyond meat burgers. For us. For Aberdeen us veggie, Angus steak burgers, burgers for the girls. Yeah, the girls like a proper burger, but we uh, prefer the Beyond Meat ones because it doesn't leave you feeling so blair afterwards. So how are you feeling as well? People have been asking how you are and also about your knitting. So knitting hasn't got any further yet because someone hasn't shown me or worked out how much I need to decrease to make the hat that I want to make, not necessarily the hat that is the pattern. So we'll have a chat about that. I, yeah, I think, yeah, I think I've worked it out, but Good. we need the time to sit down together. All right. But how I'm feeling is, I'm feeling, still feeling a bit steroid manic, but on the whole, I, uh, I can feel the medication working and things are getting better. I've s slept through the last three nights, which I haven't done for about a month. Yeah. And that makes a huge difference to how I feel in the day. That's good. Right, you may now leave. Don't, you're gonna put me off if you stay hovering there. <laughs> 
Right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna end, I'm gonna, I'm, the, I'm, but I can't. I'm going to say goodbye for the day and go and get on with dinner. And because everyone was out, have I said this already? I think I have. Because everyone was out yesterday, we're gonna sit down and have a mammoth watching of Strictly, which is gonna be lovely. I've got some wine left in the fridge, so I'm gonna have some of that with my dinner. I'm gonna put my pajamas on and we're just gonna get lovely and cozy and have a really lovely evening. We were driving, when I was driving Lilia's boyfriend home earlier, uh, I was just looking around and because it wasn't dark and oh, I was just like, I love this time of year so much. The colours and the weather, even being in the garden earlier today, it was just the perfect kind of day for the garden to, to be out with the chickens bopping about and and the smell of things and the colour of everything and the tidying. I just love it. There is nothing about this time of year that I don't like. Love it. Enjoy your evening. I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs>